Yep, they brought out the uh, the tanks. I should not have ended stream. That's your car. You, you just came in on it. That white car? No, this white one right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's all white. It's got blue lights on it. That's my car. Oh. What are y'all doing? Um, so, we are setting up a, uh, an encampment, you know, to protest because they're setting, they're shutting down a lot of encampments across the city. Uh, so, we really have nowhere else to go. You know, we had a private property where we have permission from the property owner. The city still shut that down. So we truly have nowhere else to go. You know, we're negotiating with the city. We've talked to the mayor. We've talked to the city council members. They're aware of uh, they're aware of this of what we're doing. We're trying to just negotiate something where they designate a legal encampment spot so that we can set up there, knowing that we won't get messed with. Um, but they have been very slow to negotiate this process with us. So we're just trying to set up a peaceful a peaceful kind of uh, way to let them know, like, hey, you know, we're, we're still waiting to talk to y'all. So we have planned a meeting uh, tomorrow with the city council. Uh, and the mayor as well so hopefully we can work on getting this process going and from there you know we're going to pack everything up and go to the spot where they allow us to be at uh, where you know we're not causing any problems so y'all protesting or, or no no it's not a, it's not a protest you know uh, we're basically just we're we're asking the city to des you know where are we supposed to go you know if they're going to keep throwing people's stuff away if they're going to keep kicking people out from one spot to another spot and there's nowhere else for people to go and you know do y'all have a permit for this or no? Uh, we do, um, not anything in writing, no. no sir. How long y'all plan on staying? Until the city just starts that negotiation process with us, you know, until we get some kind of affirmation that we can set up somewhere without this, you know, without this process anywhere. You know, we don't have to be in the public's eyes, you know, we'll be ducked off in the back, but even those places where we're at, we're getting messed with and we're getting shut down. So, uh, we really kind of, I mean, we are, we're in communication with the city but they're being very slow towards allocating these kinds of things so we're just trying to set up a uh, negotiation process some kind of point of communication and then from there you know we'll, we'll arrange something with the city with the mayor and the city council that way they have designated the spot uh, I'm sure y'all familiar you know they're doing it in Austin they're doing it in San Antonio where the city has legal encampments where people can set up you know right. um, but they don't have anything like that here in Dallas and the shelters are turning people away you know there's no options for any kind of permanent housing so truly you know where are people supposed to go? Even if we pack their kids tonight, and we're, we're, we have nowhere to go. Um, that's the reason why we're not here right now. They shut down the other camps over there. They're shutting down a lot of camps over by the shelters. Why are they shutting it? Why are they shutting down the camps? Because of COVID or what? No, because of COVID compliance. As a matter of fact, we, yeah, well, because it's against city code. I mean, we all know that there's codes against it. There's a lot of shit that's against city code. Yeah, it still gets let happen, you know. Um, but that's well actually there's because of covid they're not supposed to break up camps the city has a memorandum stating that this because of cdc guidelines it's more safe to allow camps to be encampments as opposed to dispersing them which causes the spread of covid uh, and the city signed on to a memorandum but they're still despite their memorandum they're still breaking up camps even ones that we have permission from the property owner to be on that property so uh truly we just you know we have something scheduled tomorrow with the city council, with the mayor, you know, to kind of start this negotiation process. Um, but yeah.
Where are y'all from Dallas? Y'all yeah, Dallas yeah, residents? Yeah. yeah, this is the Dallas Houses Committee. So we're formalizing a union of the homeless, right? We're basically um, they understand that they're citizens and they Are y'all homeless yourselves or are you working on behalf of the homeless? Uh, majority majority of the people here are homeless. We also have advocates who are housed as well here. Um, but majority of the people here are homeless, right? Uh, we had we had an encampment set up called Camp Ronda over um, over by the Austin Street shelter where like I said we have permission from the property owner. But even then, code compliance in the city found a way to try to shut that down, despite us, you know, asking them, you know, hey, we really don't have anywhere else to go. There's no alternatives. Provide an alternative, and we'll go there. You know, we're not here to try to start any unnecessary fights or engagements. We truly just want to be treated as human beings and given our rights as citizens. And so, have you all contacted the police department regarding this, or no? Um, honestly, no. 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 If there's any kind of permit process that we can go through to allocate a permit, I'm more than happy to go through that process uh, with the park owner or the park management or whoever. Um, and we can go through it the right way. You know, like I said, uh, this is a peaceful action. We're not trying to start any problems. We're not trying to do anything. Do anything uh, Why did y'all pick this park? Uh, well, obviously because it's, uh, it's near Next City, City Hall, Hall. Right, and we understand that. Um, you didn't want to do that the park over at City Hall? In front of City Hall? No, I'm not giving you permission. <laughs> I'm just saying if you want to make a statement. Um, well, you know, know we're there, but right. Yeah. Well, uh, this is not. This is a spot that we picked just because it's a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, we're not trying to be super like abrasive or you know anything like that. We're really just trying to get our voices heard because that's one of the main things, right? Uh, they're very voice, you know, people who don't get their voices heard despite being citizens and uh, residents of Dallas. The city council doesn't do anything to work towards allocating certain spots or certain housing or programs to get them into shelters and hotels to where they can get off the streets and back on their so Have you all contacted the Office of Homeless Solutions? Do they? Uh, I'm, that would probably be something better to ask the people. We have uh, Office of Homeless Solutions is one of the main forces that comes out and enforces those sweeps. You know, oh, okay. uh, they conduct the sweeps. Okay. So their solution is to just clear up camps and throw people away. You know, uh, it's kind of kind of counterproductive on what they're supposed to be doing. Exactly right? right, and we've we've raised those concerns, right? We've talked to Kevin Odin, which is the interim director of Office of Homeless Solutions. He doesn't really want to negotiate with us, uh, and this was a month ago where we tried to start the negotiation process, where we asked, hey, keep our camp up, where it's our private property, out of anyone's way, no one messes with us here. There's no complaints. Um, and even then, they still shut it down. So we truly, you know, uh, we were blessed enough to get people into a hotel for a short period of time. But that's, you know, that's not forever. We don't have everlasting funds in order to do that. We were able to allocate donations because of the storm to help uh, people who were on the streets get off off the streets. And uh, we did that, and the city took that took that as a thing to okay, well they're not here, so let's shut down the camp. And we had nowhere else to go. You know, we're, that's why we call them houseless instead of homeless because that was their home, you know, that encampment where their stuff was, where they had the sense of stability, and that got taken away from them just because they chose to go into a hotel and not freeze to death. So, How many you know, people you got out here? Uh, Are you expecting more or is this it? Um, I, I honestly don't have an answer for that. I don't know. But that just really depends on if, I mean, if houseless people who their encampments are getting shut down and they hear about, you know, there's something going on by City Hall where we can negotiate with the city and, you know, formalize this group where we speak and we get our rights met, you know, because ultimately, I mean, they have rights uh, just because they don't have a house doesn't mean they're rightless uh, citizens. And so we can negotiate with the city towards allocating whether it's funds or whether it's programs or, you know, whatever it is. We should go through the right process of... Are you the spokesperson, or are y'all? Like, uh, no, of I'm, I'm not. The, I'm not the spokesperson. Y'all <coughs> have one leader, or are you kind of loose knit group? Uh, no, there isn't one leader. The lead, the union is led by the people in it, which is made up of homeless people uh, in the interest of homeless people. Uh, we're just advocates coming out here, you know, helping them out, standing, standing alongside them, trying to help them through this very tough process of constantly having to be relocated. Right? You can just imagine how hard that is. If you had to get up and move your stuff from your house every two months, that's not an easy process. Packing up all your Stuff, or getting all your belongings thrown away in the trash as far as I can imagine if you were to get evicted, you know, uh, getting evicted in two months wouldn't be a very easy process. And so that's why, you know, there needs to be ways to provide this kind of stability, whether it's a legal encampment, whether it's a true, like, enough shelters to get people into the shelters. We have shelters, but there's not enough of them. You know, there's about 4,000, 5,000 homeless people that can only get anywhere up to a thousand people, and that's like a generous number of the shelters. 
So, uh, so yeah, that's really it. Uh, like I said, we're hopefully we're expecting to hear back from the city or the mayor tomorrow so we can start this process because we don't want to be out here. Trust me, we don't want to be out here. We would like to be somewhere where we're out of out of the public's eye, where we have say we have that peace of mind that we can be here and we won't get bothered, whether it's by code compliance, whether it's by office home solutions. Sometimes the police department comes and messes with people as well. And you know, I'm sure, you know, whatever, there's reasons for anything, but ultimately when they have nowhere to go, if they're getting harassed for sleeping on the sidewalk and they're constantly getting told to leave, uh, there's really no other solution besides I would agree. You guys have any ill intentions of guns, knives, explosives? Not at all. This is a peaceful, peaceful uh, right to assemble. You know, I'm sure. You know, like I said, we're citizens, so we have certain rights as citizens. And uh, yeah, this is just something where we're trying to get the city to start the negotiation part because otherwise they were they had no intentions of even listening to what we had to say. Truly, like I said, they're voiceless, and that's kind of messed up. You know, because the city can do can throw their stuff away, but they can't sit there and listen to them. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, Next. this is what we're gonna do. I'll call a supervisor. They'll probably come out here and talk to you a bit, but okay. honestly, so I don't, don't care. Have... There's not a whole lot I'm gonna do. Okay. We don't. You know, we don't mind talking to people at all. You know, just to at least initially to you know let people understand what we're doing because I'm sure y'all are just, you know confusing maybe what's going on here. We don't have any problem explaining what our intentions are. The only intention is to get housing, right? We want permanent housing. Yes, sir. And, um, yeah, I don't have yeah, no. That's about it. I'll, I'll speak to a supervisor, but, I mean, they may come out and talk to you guys, but okay. I don't see them doing anything wrong. Understood. Hey, can I catch y'all's name, too? Yeah, my name is Officer Stolarzy. Stolarzy. Yes, sir. Officer Mason. Officer Mason. All right, yeah, take care of you. Officer Scalarza and Officer Mays. If anyone has said anything in chat, I can't see it. And there's another police officer. Police seem to be uh, very interested in what we're what we're doing here. Yep, and he's pulled the Yui. And he parked right next to his buddy and is now blocking traffic. against my car for a bit. I guess I should have known better than to uh, than to cancel stream.
There's a trumpet going on somewhere in the background. I'm gonna get in my car. Because I'm sure there's, uh, there's gonna be more policemen later. The supervisor, so I want to be ready for him. Oh, another police car. Had, uh, one, two, three, four. That would be the fifth one that's drove by. So anyway, I love you guys. I got songs for fucking dies, yeah. In a Scottish accent, that would just mean days. I'm tired but I'm gonna I'm gonna be here for at least the uh, supervisor conver conversation then I gotta go home it's 1 a.m. here and we're uh, we're trying to get these people housed we're trying to give them a permanent place to live a community that they can call home it's some real great suits to work tonight. I'm hoping I can sleep late tomorrow. I'm praying. Meanwhile, there were some uh, homeless people arguing over possessions, and I didn't... Oh, nope, there's uh, police car number six. Because they just they just can't fucking leave us alone. Oh boy. I don't know if uh, my chat is just borked connected to chat. Chat closed. I don't see anyone. Chatting. I don't know. Oh, yep, he's parked behind his, uh, buddy. He's getting out. Maybe I need to reconnect to chat. That's uh, just a motorcyclist. Yeah, for 
some reason chat is not working right now, so if you guys are saying anything, I, I can't see it. Should I go say hello? Should I bring my squeaky pig? Really like my squeaky pigs. They're pigs and they squeak at the cops. Walk away, beat cop, walk away, do the shuffle away, walk away, get in your car, I don't care, just drive how far, just go away, just get away from here. All cops are bastards, that's right, you too. You think you're good, but really you're just super, super cruel. You hate all of the people and you serve a broken system. Why don't you just quit your fucking job? I don't understand how you don't see this yet. You should just leave everything behind and get another one. That's right, you should just quit. Leave it all behind. Just come on. Maybe flip burgers and fries. Cause I have way more respect for an average retail worker Or maybe someone who makes me my fries and burgers That's right, I've got more respect for a fucking McDonald's guy Cause he's put up with more shit And his job's on the line if he performs really bad But cops have no accountability That's right they can do whatever they please that's right when i was young i thought that wasn't true but now i got older and found out it was cops can do whatever the hell they want to do that's kind of sad it makes me really mad it makes me feel so bad that they can do just what they want I, I'm, I'm running out of songs <laughs> Okay, I, I think I'm going to restart my stream really quick to try and get the chat back working. Alright, uh, l l let's see if that works. Someone say something. Oh, K-Variable's here and says, ah! <laughs> Oh, I have no idea what you guys were saying during that long musical. A C A A A A A C C C C A A A A B B B B Lol Shizcap says lol lol Shizcap says lol. Everybody's finally in the chat. Now I feel like a really cool cat, just sitting here bopping my head, saying "fuck the police, they're dead." Yeah, pigs in a blanket. Yeah, fry them like bacon. Yeah, Trump hated that. That's what he quoted every time he wanted to make fun of the Black Lives Matter movement. But he never really got it through. Everyone was still marching in the streets, yeah. Everybody was still burning buildings. What's that cop doing? Okay, so... Those were the two that came to talk to us earlier. The ones uh, in the car with the blue lights. They said they were going to call their supervisor to come talk to us. I am basically here security at this point, making sure that they don't... Uh, Basically, just want to make sure that uh, nothing happens. We're just talking to each other. Yeah, I guess. We've had uh, six different cop cars drive by. If they called their super... I don't know if that's the, uh, the supervisor or what. I'll, uh, I'll save these streams for YouTube so you have them. And then... Um, I'll get out of here eventually, but um, you have my number? Yes. 
You can call me for an emergency if you need me to come out. Okay. I'll be I'll down here as soon as I can. Well, I'm not going to wake up to a text, I can promise you. Okay, no, I'll call you first. I'll okay. Operation Delta Echo, <laughs> Delta Echo Flutter. <laughs> Romeo Foxtrot Flutternator. Delta Tango Flutter. Delta Tango Flutter. Alpha Beta Flutter. <laughs> How am I an Alpha and a Beta male? How are you going to make me both? Oh, you're here for my songs. This is this is late night Flutternator song hour. Nin ninny bud? Uh that must be the name of an emote. I uh I can't see the names of emotes. Oh yeah, I got my uh So when I was driving uh, the homeless people <laughs> over here, um, we saw a cop pull someone over, and I'm like, all right, everybody, now extend your middle finger. <laughs> That's right. Fuck the police. <laughs> oh, I had to be their thing. None of you have, uh, have protested like me. NSFW is no more. What do, what do they mean? What do they mean? What do you mean NSFW is, is no more? Take a look. It's in a book. Oh, shit. We got three cop cars out here now. They might be prepping. Not, not a fan of the whole uh, three cars look. I think that went out of style in 1968, right before I was born. They're prepping, they're sitting, they're gonna ruin lives. That's the way it's gonna work, make all of us cry. I see they're coming at me, these must be the supervisor. So I'm gonna mask up and hope if they do the same. Oh shit, they're all coming out. Everyone is coming to gain some clout. That's what it is. They heard about my songs. They want to see me in a thong. That's what they're doing. Everyone's coming to talk. Everyone is coming. Everyone is here. All the police are coming. I don't hold them dear. Look at them go. We got like four of them there. They're gonna need a lot more to scare off my hair. Cup of three can fuck off the action passes the ice filled bong. Toby, Floby, look at you go. You're making rhymes. I do it all the time. I'm singing songs while we're waiting for the police to come. I don't know what they're doing. I'm just out here at 1 a.m. Got the police trying to displace my homeless friends. Get up, back it up, get up. How are you all doing? Good, how are you, sir? Good, good, good. I was talking to you earlier. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm Lieutenant Quinlan, so I'm new to the area, so I'm learning all this all this as it goes right now. Yes, so, are you from? No, I just got transferred down oh, here. Oh, so, sweet. Yeah, okay. So, I thought you had to stay. Uh, no, no, no. no. So, just okay. Got, just got transferred down here, so I'm not familiar with the Central Business District and everything. Yeah. Like that. So, um, 
So I was I was told that y'all are here to peacefully protest the homelessness in the city of Dallas. Uh, so. Yeah, the harassment of the homeless people face. Okay. Exactly. okay. The harassment the lack, of homeless people. Yeah. And the lack of well, yeah, harassment from the city and lack of alternative solutions. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just just asking questions. Do you have a like a name of an or organization or? Yeah, the Dallas Houseless Committee, which is a union of the homeless. Uh, Dallas Houseless Committee. Yes. Yeah. All I'm doing is I'm just gonna send an email up the, the chain and then go from there. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, and this, yeah. the, the city council members and the mayor are already familiar. They're familiar with yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we have a meeting scheduled with them. You know, hopefully. Well, we've been trying to get that going for the last month and a half because we had an encampment over uh, over by Ferris Street, where the encampments are at. I mean, where the shelters are at. We were on an encampment with permission from the property owner, right? Private property with permission from the property owner. It's fenced off. Fenced oh, you off. can't see him, but the and cop the on the left most looks like the down. cop you know, from uh, Terminator 2. The city, despite the or Agent that Doggett from X Files. Uh, I'm sure y'all probably aren't even familiar with because even the Office of Homeless Solutions and Code Compliance people aren't familiar with the memorandum, and it's something that they signed. So uh, <laughs> they don't know about it. Oh, no. their desk, and it states that they can't break up encampments due to COVID-19 based on the CDC guidelines, uh, but they're still doing it. And that's one of the reasons why we're out here because we're like, despite the memorandum, you're still shutting us down, right? Uh, there's no, sh the shelters are turning people away because they're at limited capacity. The city's not allocating any of their FEMA funds to purchase hotels to get people off the streets and into hotels. Uh, and there's no programs for permanent low income to low income housing. So honestly, where are people supposed to go, truly, right? We had, we had our spot. Uh, we asked the city to not shut that down, you know, keep us here until we can figure out other solutions, and they still shut it down. They threatened. When did that happen? Uh, this happened. Uh, this Saturday of the storm? And all that stuff. Yeah. Just whenever After, we were yeah. removed from that previous time. Alright. Do you want me to list you as the contact person? Yeah, that'd okay. be fine. That would be all fine. Right. That's no problem. What's your first name, sir? Uh, it's gonna be Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ryan or Ryan. 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 Gonna mute. And your last name? Ryan. Mm -hmm. peaceful right to assembly uh, we're just trying to get our voices heard to the city because otherwise when we were trying to let them you know listen to us as far as hey don't shut this down because if you shut this down we have nowhere else to go okay we truly have nowhere else to go and they still did it they didn't want to listen to us so we're still trying to start that negotiation process and once we get that process going they allocate the legal encampment they have them you know they have them in austin they have them in cities across not only the state but across the nation and uh we're trying to get something like that from like here in Dallas, at least for the short term, and obviously in the long term, is to get people off the streets and into housing, uh, which is something that everybody wants. You know, nobody wants to be here. Oh yeah, no, no one wants to live outside. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. So, yeah. okay, right? Do you have a date of birth, sir? Uh, it would be 03-10-1998. Okay, and then uh, so, how long do y'all plan on being out here? Until we can, you know, until we get. That negotiation process started with the city. You know, they give us their word, something on paper where they allocate a certain, whether it's an encampment or a property that they allow us to be at, you know, where it's legally zoned or however they, you know, their little, whatever they like to use their wording. Um, okay. but, you know, something like that. And then once we have a place to go, Quick, we'll what go was the name of right, the no, cop from yeah, Terminator 2? I've never yeah, seen the movie. Oh, well, uh, no, this is their belongings, you know, oh, their stuff that okay. we gotcha. saved from getting thrown out that the city yeah, that would have gotten thrown out otherwise. That happens with the swoops and the homeless and camp resolutions. Okay. All right, and then uh, restroom facilities. Where do y'all plan? Robert on? Patrick. Do if we have permission to set up porta potties, then that's the plan. Yeah. Well, uh, I think there's a plumbing involved in that. Honestly, yeah, I'm not quite sure. It's something I'm still learning. Right. Yeah. T1000, uh, got it. Okay. We're and open then, to working with the city and negotiating. Sure. You know, just going through the process the right way as far as you know, setting up a spot where we're allowed to be at. From there, we have the stability to go through the processes that we need to in order to get, whether it's into programs or into shelters. And that's a great you know, question. The follow-up question I was going to ask you, why this place? Is there a significant historical about this it's, place? It's or just, just right across the street from the city hall? hall. Got you. Mm -hmm. So they can see, look out yeah, the windows they keep, and see you. <laughs> they keep trying to act like, you know, out of sight, out of mind has been their main, like, approach to all of this. But in reality, you know, this isn't something you can really push out of your framework because there's still people here. You know? Have you all done this in the past? Uh, no, first time. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Is there anything else you need from us? Uh, 
No. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So, um, like I said, Lieutenant Quinlan. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like Quinlan, Texas. Got it. All right. Um, I'm just here in the first watch hours, and this is like I said, kind of, kind of odd for us too. Usually, peaceful assemblies and everything usually happen in the evening to the daytime. Yeah. So happening yeah. at 1 a.m. in the yeah. morning is a little, you know, strange to us and everything like that. So, um, all right. So. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email at my chain of command just to inform them what's going on out here. Uh, basically, the same information you just gave me. Perfect. Like yeah, that. No problem. Uh, what they do with it, I'm not quite sure, but they may you know, send it up the chain further than that. Uh, hopefully, in the daytime, maybe we'll get some answers and resolutions. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, yes, sir. Also, if you want, you can coordinate with the security guard. He was able to get pictures of like, the damage for all the security which, which security guard? Security guard uh, with the... Allied security. Oh, okay. For the city hall security? Uh, well, I think it's for the park. Convention center. Oh, the convention oh, it center. Is. Okay. okay. Uh, he has pictures of the so they come up. Okay. All right. See if we can track him down, too. Okay. Do you have a card or something as well? I do not. That's no. one of the that I don't give us any business cards. No worries. No worries. Just wanted so, to have a point of contact I've only well. been... I've only... This is my fourth night out here, fifth yeah. night out here. So, yeah, man. I'm, I am brand new. I just got transferred awesome. here last week. Yeah, so, okay. Okay. so, okay. All right. Um, if y'all... You know the routine, you know. All right. So, be peaceful and everything Absolutely. like that. Stay on the sidewalks. If y'all need anything, dial 911, okay? Absolutely. All right. All right. All right. Y'all have a good night. You too. See you later, T-1000. Goodbye, Robert Patrick. Why is there a noob? Well, I was hoping you guys could tell me. If you guys want to do any research on a uh, Officer Quinlan that had to get transferred for brutality reasons, that would be interesting. He didn't behave like an abuser, but I, I guess they uh, never do. Hasta la vista, capa. Waste is flashy. Boy. Well. Goodbye, Robert Patrick. You make me sad, Trick. Because you're a cop, and I hate cops. Cops are so bad. All right, I'm gonna give it about another 15 minutes before I uh, head home. Or I'm gonna give these cops another 15 minutes to get the fuck out of here. Such a shame they don't give cops identifying numbers. I know, I know, we have badge number. Hey, officer, give me your badge number. Hey, hey, girl, give me your badge number. <laughs> That's not the time you want to ask a girl for a number. <laughs> she gives you her fucking badge number. That's how you know uh, there's no second date. That's your tune. Section 31. Oh, yeah, this is your tune. How does it feel to have your own tune? I guess everyone can get like their own little flutter rhythm. You just gotta remember me what it is, or remind me what it is. K variable, K variable, not a wee minute bull. Shiz cap, shiz cap, where the cap of shiz? I hope it's not a jizz cap. Yeah, that's right. I only like the shiz cap, no jizz caps. I once put my hat on and it was full of jizz, and then my head was covered in jizz, and it was weird. Very flattered. Section 31. Fuck, I got bags in my ass. I'm fucking tired. Alright, they're uh, getting in the car, heading away. So they may not need me anymore. Oh yeah. Uh, where we go? Yeah.
Man, with the uh, with all the shadows, I kind of look like a weird, ominous. What's the meme where it's just like the black and white faceless man? If that's a thing, it's 1:20 a.m. I'm not describing things well. Not slender man. It, it, it's it's like a reaction face that I'm thinking of. Like it's it's the very stonewalled like it kind of like me gusta but it's a more depressing version of it. Okay, well the cops have left. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. The cops did their job. I'd give them a round of applause, but they're supposed to do that all the time. Shame that the police in Plano couldn't, uh, some rage comic face. Well, I don't, I don't think it belonged to the rage face people. Fuck, it's gonna bother me. I, I know exactly the face that I'm picturing. It's like really heavy black and white. Basically a rage face. It was just a circle face. It, it looks like the really sad one where it, they just get really depressed and it's really dark. I don't... I don't even know why we're talking about this anymore, <laughs> honestly. I just, uh... Oh, because my face looked like it, yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm forgetting things. I'm tired. I should probably just, uh, just tell the, uh... <laughs> organizer that I, uh, I'm gonna go home, which, uh, now that I think about it, it seems like a really insensitive thing to say <laughs> when I'm dealing with homeless people. Maybe I'm overthinking it, though. But I've, uh, I've let the organizer know that I am, uh, available on call, so, uh, if the police start harassing these people, I will be here. And the police have left, so there's really nothing left to film. Uh, it was mostly a protection thing for me. <sighs> so, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, second stream. Because the police are gone, and I have no reason to live. So, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just sleep in my car here. Just pass out here. <laughs> anyway. I love you guys. You're all wonderful people, and I truly believe that you'll accomplish good things in life. Adios. You know, kisses, kisses, good night. I'm, I'm crying because you're so beautiful. You're all such beautiful people. <laughs> I just don't understand why, why you're so beautiful, and I had to look like this. It's just so unfair, so unfair. <laughs> why does God hate me? Why does God hate me?